You are listening to music in your headphones. Can you open your locker door to put your stuff? But then someone pull your hairs from behind. You turn in annoyance, knowing who it might be. It was Jungkook with smug on his face. He leaned closer to you, making you guess. He snatched your headphones, making your eyes widen. Wan, give them back, John Jungkook. They worth more than you. Jungkook, oh really? Then I will keep it with me, so my worth will increase in your eyes. You keep looking at him, which make him chuckle. Then he ruffled your hairs, making you yield. Then he ran away. You set your hairs and went after him to get your headphones. You come running behind him and scream with your eyes shut. Wan, John, Jungkook, give me my belonging back. You wide open your eyes when someone clear your throat. It was a professor. Professor, so first of all, you come late in class and now you are screaming like some mad person. You quickly bow to her several times. Wine, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, I won't do this again. Professor, whatever. Now go and sit. You glare at Jungkook, who was controlling his laughter. You went and sit beside him, and it is pink. That you're making him more annoyed. Then the professor continued the lecture. You took the chance and hit on his knees, making him hissed. Junko, are you mad or what? Why you hit me? He said while standing up. But then the professor come there and grab his ears. Professor, you both get out from class right now. Junko, but ma'am, she hit me. You look away, pretending to be innocent. Professor, you both get out before I call your parents. You both flinch, then you both left from class. You stand far from him in punishment. Wine, give me my headphones back. Junko, no, do my pending assignment, then. I will give it to you. Wine, in your dreams, jerk, give it, or I will tell your mom. Junko, fine, then come to my house and get it. He see and start going, but you grab his hand. Wine, we are in punishment, you can't go like this. Jungkook, oh, uh, is this little girl is bored? Vine, you know what? Just go away. He laughed and ruffled your hairs again. Then he left, begging you annoying as hell. After college, now you arrive at your home. You throw this stuff everywhere and lay yourself on sofa, frustrated by how Jungkook teased you. Your mom come from kitchen and saw all things clutter everywhere. Mom, oh gosh, why you must be big in your past life. Vine, mom, I'm not in mood to talk. Your mother glared at you, then she raised her slipper, making you gulp. You quickly pick all the stuffs and put them neatly. Mom, now listen, I have something to tell you. Vine, okay mom, but tell me a bit later, I have something to do. You see and get up when you start leaving. Mom, at least have lunch. Vine. I will be back in no time. You ring the bell, then a lady opens the door. Miss John, oh my dear Vine, how nice to see you. What bring you here suddenly? Vine, aunt, actually I am here to talk to Jungkook. Miss John, sure, go ahead and meet John too. You smiled and know, then you went in Jungkook's room. You didn't even knock on the door and just burst inside in his room, just to see that he was listening to song from your headphones. Which make your blood boil. Vine, I am here as you say. Now give it back. Jungkook, sure, I will at least spend a bit time with me. Vine, no, I am busy. Jungkook, and in what? You don't even have any boyfriend. Vine, so what? I am mm, going on a blind date. Yeah, a date today. Jungkook, with whom? Vine, I don't want to tell you. Jungkook, I will give you your headphone back if you tell me. Van first gave them the sign and handed it to you. Then he looked at you desperately, wanted to know. Van, I think this time it's with your brother. His jaw dropped hearing that. Then he left from his house. Junko clenched his fist and punched his pillow. Junko, I won't let this boat get along, at least not until I'm alive. And why Miss Kang has to arrange why and blind it with my brother? What's the problem in me? Now you were going back, but Miss John stopped you. Miss John, why are you going this early, dear? Why, I will come some other day, auntie.
Miss John, by the way, why and may I ask what you think about Jin Ho? Why and yeah, he is a nice and kind guy. You see, while smiling, while Jungkook was overhearing a boat conversation from Sirius, Miss John, I think you both will be a great couple. Why? By the way, Aunt, I got to go now. Mom must be waiting for me. Miss John chuckled, thinking that you are just shy. You come home and see your mom on sofa. Why, and Mom, you fix my date again. Mom, oh no, how we know that? Why, it's obvious. Whenever you say you want to tell me something, it's always a blind date. Mom, I'm doing this for your good. Why, and you are getting aged, and that guy is so good. Why, and yeah, yeah, I know it's too hard this time. Mom, oh, so you went to Miss John's house then? Why, and this is the last date I'm going on. Mom, okay, if you date him, then I accept it. So today, go and meet him around 6 p.m. In the evening, you come in restaurant to meet Johan, who was already waiting for you. Johan, uh, why and so it's you who is my blind date? Why and yeah, and you are mine too. Johan, can we have some food first? You know, and then you both order food. Johan, not gonna lie, you are looking so beautiful, just like a fairy. Why and oh, stop watering me. By the way, what were you are doing nowadays? Johan, nothing, just running the company. You both talk about various things and you realize there was not a single thing which matched between you two both and this made you doubt. While eating, some sauce left on your lips. He was about to wipe it with tissue, but suddenly a hand touched your lips and removed the sauce, making your eyes wide and yellow. It was Jungkook, who was breathing heavily, seemed like he come running. Johan, what are you doing here? Jungkook, what do you mean by that? I am here for you. And yeah, brother, I got called from company. Something urgent has come up. Johan, then go and sort it out. Why are you stopping her? Jungkook, you know, I mess everything all time. Please go in my place. Johan, I will after having date with Vyan. Jungkook, so she is important than my reputation to you. You look at him in frustration as he come to ruin your blind date too. Why, Juhan, if it's really important, you can go we can meet some other time. I don't mind it at all. Juhan, then can I at least bought you ice cream as an apologize? Jungkook check out his card from his pocket and say, Jungkook, brother, I will cheat her. No worries. Juhan sign and get up to leave. Juhan, come, I have something to say. You look at them dumbfoundedly as they both left. You decide to continue to eat your food. Soon Jango come back smiling, making you shocked as he usually just smirk at you. Van, what's your problem? You come everywhere. Along with me, are you my bodyguard? Jango, you seem mad about this thing. Van, I was having so good time. I nearly had accept your brother as my boyfriend. Jungkook, that can't happen. It's impossible. Why? And why? Is it because of me? Jungkook, yeah, yeah. I don't want my innocent brother to get a girl like you. You glare at him and slam the table, making people around look at you. Why? I hate you, John Jungkook. You always make me annoyed. I'm tired of you. I wish you left me alone. You say the things you don't want to, but now your words had hurt him. You get up and start going while he keeps sitting there still processing if you mean those words. Then he left after you to clear things. You start going while you suddenly start running, but you keep going. Jungko come from behind and grab your wrist, making you turn. Jungko, how can you talk like that with me? Don't you have any heart? How cruel. I don't get angry, but it doesn't mean I don't get hurt. Why, just leave me alone, Jungkook. Jungkook, are you sure you want me to go away? Why, yes, for God's sake, do it. You see and push him. He was about to let you go, but then he looked down and saw your dress was completely soaked by rain and your was visible. He quickly come closer to you, making you gasp. Why, what are you doing, pervert? He ignored you and looked around. Then he saw a 